Okay, uh, for the next hour, just so you know, we're not going to be moving to different tables or different seats <laughs> or chairs or any of that. So if you've got a seat you're comfortable with now, you're going to be there for at least an hour. Uh, we're actually moving from the World Cafe to something more akin to the Internet Cafe. Uh, as we uh, talk about technology and innovations in assessments. Uh, so just as a, a, a brief background to this, uh, there have been a lot of changes, not just IPE, uh, but the changes in healthcare have really prompt, prompted a lot of changes in our training environment. Uh, and these changes have been going on for some time. So uh, many of you who, who trained clinically many, many years ago spent most of your time in a hospital, which is where most care was given. Uh, that's no longer true. So training um, has been spread out into the community, into all kinds of environments, both clinical and non-clinical. The educational model, however, is still trying to catch up with that, and by and large, it's still episodic. So. Um, students in a clinical environment may get to see a patient in the course of rotation, maybe once, maybe twice in the course of their rotation, uh, which is not particularly consistent with the chronic care model that we see emerging. So there are changes in that as well. Um, another change that we're starting to see is that our faculty are getting busier and busier, and they are getting tied more and more to the bottom line and reimbursement and financial models, not only for themselves, but also for the institutions for which they work or teach. Uh, so that means busy practitioners, uh, while they may be willing to continue to teach, don't have quite the time uh, that they used to. So we, we have had those changes in the environment. But fortunately, we've also had a, a tremendous number of changes in the area of technology that have allowed us to address some of these issues uh, and help us overcome some of those in both the educational and assessment models. So we're going to hear uh, from uh, three of my colleagues here who will talk about uh, some of the things that they are doing in the area of technology and innovations in assessment. Uh, if you haven't already done so, uh, you'll find videos and other materials uh, that, that go into much more detail than we can this morning about some of the things that they are doing. So with that, I'm going to uh, move to our first presentation. Uh, Margaret, I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself and do your quick presentation.